Battier in Oklahoma City yeah. in game two when they were teetering after they got Skill. blown out in game one? I just want to know. Do you remember Mario Chalmers back in Miami? Do you remember Mike Miller in the so, closeout game five? So if I'm on a team, if I'm on a team, and I let's just say I'm football and I'm on a team and I'm a wide receiver, mm. they throw me the ball. Am I not supposed to catch it? Mm. Sure, I'm supposed to catch it, right? Yeah, but, the, but the, you don't initiate that. They all initiated that they took over games. Mario Chalmers took over the entire fourth quarter See. of what was it, game four in Miami? Go back. It's the Mario Chalmers Memorial game. Scored look, 25 points in the game. Go back and look at a guy in the playoff that's led the team in scoring, rebounds, and assists. Mm. If you take the next three, four guys, combine them, they don't equal LeBron James. Skip, nobody has had to, had the responsibility, the scoring, the rebounding, the assisting, the running the the basketball team like LeBron James. If you if you if you hell bent on staying in that corner, say uh, uh, Jordan is the goat. Skip, I can't pull y'all. Believe you there. Mm. But it's my guy's birthday. It's his moment, and nobody mm. has been able to play this good mm. for this long. Mm. And he ain't slowing down. Mm. I'll give you year 17. Nobody's ever had a year 17, but by then, Michael Jordan was done. Why was he done? Because he quit on principle because Jerry Krause and Jerry Reinsdorf in Chicago, the GM and owner of the Chicago Bulls, said, So he pouted. Phil Jackson, so, you're out. Hold on, hold no, on, just a second. Pouting. What that's is it? Principle. He said, You fire that coach. You run him out of here. You're running me out too because I am death till, till I part. So, let, so let me get this. See, see, you see what you did? Mm -hmm. All you did, now, now he got upset and pouted, said, I'm taking my basketball cleat. Of my shoes, and I'm going home if you don't bring my coach back. Mm. So that's not pouting. That's principle. You saying LeBron James not, not sitting in uh, 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 J.R. Smith's lap during the timeout, mm. he's pouting. Well, he pouted after he turned down the last shot with Steph Curry switched on to him. After he had scored 48 points, much of them from outside the paint, hottest hand I'd ever seen him have in any playoff game in his career, and he turns down a 17-foot jump shot, do or die, sink or swim, because you're down one, it's going to be in or out, Skip. and he turned it down to pass to George Hill? Who's an 80, who's an 80, Lord forbid, George Hill's in the NBA, he's an 80%, a career 80% free throw shooter, mm. and what we have we seen, look at Jay Crowder. Jay Crowder made all the threes that he took, basically, in Boston. He made all the threes that he took in Miami. Look at what he did last night. Mm. He got with LeBron James, and he couldn't throw it in the ocean from the boat, in the mm. middle of the ocean. Well, that's on LeBron. Uh -huh. He couldn't raise his game. Like that. <laughs> I don't know. No, Skip. Look at Wes Matthews. Wes Matthews played so great in Portland, parlayed that into a big, massive contract, played well in Dallas. Mm. Now he can't even buy a bucket. Mm. And that's what the expectations is when you play with the goat, Skip. The eyes get bigger, palms get sweaty, get tighter. Mm. But Skip, don't, don't do it. This is the man's birthday. Mm. The man, 13-time first-team All-NBA. Mm. Nobody can touch that. He's going to be have the most points. I told you he's going to be 40, 10, and 10. Mm. 40,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, 10,000 assists, mm. and he's going to get another chip mm. this year. And Michael Jordan won 10 scoring titles to LeBron's one. Skip, that ain't what we Game do. Skip, over. skip, that ain't, skip. That's not what we do. Mm. We don't try to score. Mm. Everybody, every, think about it. All the people that you say the greatest score is greatest score, mm. LeBron is right there with them. Mm. Be it Jerry West, be I it. You said he doesn't try to score. He does, skip. Oh. That's skip. But he, now he's, he's hell bent a, to try to pass no, 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 Abdul no. Jabbar skip. for most points ever scored in the NBA. Skip. That's, he's a reluctant scorer. Oh. He tries to get everybody else about That's why. Well, skip. he's not reluctant when they're up 20 in the fourth quarter and he's still pouring it on. So did Jordan, did Jordan take off? See, hold on. Now, mm. if jo if he take comes out, he doesn't have the killer instinct that Kobe and Jordan. I'm glad he stays, you He stays that in the game. Because all we heard during the time The Last Dance aired on ESPN was voice after voice from LeBron's past saying, well, the big difference was... Michael was he he was an assassin. He had that killer will yeah, okay. and and LeBron just doesn't have that. We even had Mike Malone, head coach of the Denver Nuggets now, longtime assistant with LeBron in Cleveland in his first go around in mm -hmm. Cleveland. And he he just basically summed it up that killer, not a killer. Skill. Okay. But here's the thing. The misconception is, is that people think the black mamba is the most venomous snake mm -hmm. on the earth. Mm -hmm. And it's not even top five. 
You got the common brown in Australia. Mm -hmm. You got the taipan. There are several other snakes that are not as aggressive, that are more venomous. Mm -hmm. Because LeBron don't go out there snarling and elbowing people, that doesn't mean he's not just as deadly, mm -hmm. if not more deadly -er. mm -hmm. He's a common variety garden snake. Now, now, he no garden, oh, he's yeah. venomous. Yeah. You, don't, you don't be no garden snake and get four, be four for four. Mm. He four for four. Mm. Only one other man can say that. that that's that's uh, Jordan. Mm. Give him that. We, we coming. What, what do you mean four for four? Four finals, four MVPs. What? He got four finals. He got four finals MVPs. What, what's this? Skip, skip, that's what, skip. I just said, I just acknowledged that only Jordan can say that. Oh. But we coming. Mm. But what he can't say, he had the longevity and the production over the long haul that we, mm -hmm. skip, remember now, he was out of the league. Mm. He took a break. Think about it. He took a break in his pride because of physical and mental. That's what he said the last day. No. Now, if, if anything is misquoted, you can't misquote somebody in their own documentary, can you? Because mm -hmm. that's what he said. He said he started to grind on him. Mm. Everybody all up in his business. Mm. So can you imagine if everybody with those little media people in his business, yeah. what would social media be like mm. when camera phones everywhere? Mm. Speaking of social media, I'm glad you brought that back up because... Just a couple of days back, I saw something that LeBron posted that really offended me. Truly oh, offended you get offended me. about everything. If, if we could just see this for what just a moment, please. He, he posted this, feeling like Mike. No, he said, feel like Mike Jack. No, Mike. It, there's got to be a period in there. No, 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 skip, no, no. He there, there's about no Michael. Mike Jack. Yeah, he Michael. said Jack Sigma. Mike Jackson. Oh, okay. That's the oh, footwork he's talking about. Oh, That's the poetry of motion. Feeling like Mike. Poetry in motion. Yes. Footwork on cruise control. The kid from Akron, hashtag King Me. Crowded. <laughs> says, LeBron James, as he shows him, himself shooting a fadeaway, on one of the worst defenders, if not the See, single is. worst defender in the entire league, Luka Doncic, after a game last year at Dallas, won by Danny Green with a corner three. It, that, that got us to know over time. What did, what did, well, that won the game. No, no it didn't. Yeah. If you don't win the game just okay. because you get the overtime. And then what did my man Kyle Kuzma say after the game? We just passed the ball to whoever Luca was guarding. Yes. And, and he had the audacity to post a fadeaway jumper over Luka Doncic, who, by the way, Rick Carlisle called out publicly. We're going to talk about it later in the show. But he called him out publicly yesterday and basically said he's just not in condition. And you have to dedicate yourself year-round to staying in condition. So that shot was over a guy who doesn't defend to start with and is in poor condition second. Hold up. What about the one that he hit on Jalen Brown? Mm. He hit that very shot on Jalen Brown last year in mm. March. You remember that, Skip? Yeah. He hit that same shot on Jalen Brown. So mm. what are you going to say about Jalen Brown? Mm. Was he not in shape? Is he not any good? Is he not a good defender? Mike Jack, 83 Motown Award. Hey. Mm, mm, mm. Back it up. That, that, that's <laughs> that's like the footwork he's talking about. There's a big old period that, missing That's in the there. footwork he's talking oh, about. is he? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, trust me on this. That he will never, ever duplicate what that man did from mid-range with fadeaways over the last five or six years of his career. He perfected that shot, did Michael Jeffrey yes. Jordan. I'd never seen anything like it. It was unstoppable. It's a move that is akin to the, the sky hook of Kareem, where you just can't stop it. He's going to fade away on you, and nobody can block it, and nobody can even even get, get a hand on it. See, 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 see Skip, what you try to do, is that you say because nobody can replicate it. There is a place in our society, not only for Al, Al, Albert Einstein, mm. but also for Steve Jobs. Oh. They all serve their roles. Mm. Now we get to determine, now we are gonna debate who meant more to society. Mm. But in this case right here, I'm in Go James Corner. Mm. Now leave me alone, I ain't bother you. I'm not trying to talk you off no ledge. You with Jordan, there is nothing, you, you told me that Jordan wouldn't respond, Jordan responds to criticism. You say Jordan doesn't hold grudges, Jordan hold grudges. No, but he always holds grudges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but everybody else tell Isaiah to get over it. Mm -hmm. He hadn't gotten over it. Mm -hmm. He Good. hadn't got over it. Oh, oh. Good for him, but see, but that's what drove him. Does LeBron have any grudges and, and, that he holds? What, what, I'll tell you what. Well, when is he going to get back at Larry Bird mm. for cutting his butt, mm. sweeping him? When is he going to get back at Bird? Mm. And why did he wait till the big, the, uh, the bad boy Pistons get old before he took them down? 
Michael Jordan hung 63 on Bird and company in game one at the Garden. And Jordan. 63. And what did Larry Bird say after the game? That was God you see, disguised you, as you, Michael you Jordan. See, you see what you did again? Now, he hung 63. Caught an L. Now, normally you say 63 doesn't mean anything. I mean, I remember when uh, Devin Booker had 70, mm. and all the Celtics talking about he over there celebrating 70, but he caught that L. Mm. Nobody has gotten more credit for losses than Michael Jordan in the history of the NBA. Because, it, granted, he was spectacular, but at the end of the day, he lost. Mm. Skip, what good is Tom Brady's 505 if he lost the Super Bowl? You bring it up every time. He threw for the most yards in playoff history. Merger, pre-merger, post-merger, it doesn't matter the merger. Mm. But what did, he, what did it accomplish? He lost. That year, Jordan's team was way worse than any of LeBron's Cleveland teams. You know it not. How are you going to be worse they when you got to go? sub 500. So how you he, make the playoffs sub 500? He broke his leg and was out for like six weeks at the end of the year and came straight back in and said, no, I'm not going to wait until next year. Like KD and Kyrie right. said, uh, we're going to wait. We, we, we could have gone to the bubble, but we're going to wait.